Thanks for staying with us. Now, if you're just tuning in, we're asking if we were to flip the coin in the political scene and we have more women occupying um, seats in governance, what would the impact look like? You know, so let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Tweet at us at Wish Africa One with the hashtag Wish Show, or you send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081 803 We'll open our phone lines today. Normally, we don't open on Mondays, but we'll open our phone lines today. But please, when you're calling in, turn down the volume of your television set. In fact, turn it off and just try to keep your, your um, comments within a minute. Thank you for your cooperation. All right, so ladies. You know what I think? Yeah. I think there would be um, at least the first few years when we would have a lot of women in you know leadership positions. I think we would see a lot of changes because women would be under pressure to say, you know what, we told you we could do better, and now we're doing better. But I think down we the line, if, hold on, down the line, if we're not careful, chances that we might just end up where we might end up at the mess the men have made. Okay. I, I think, I think, I think it's, it's we're a long way, way, way off. Um, I think it was the World Economic Forum report that says that in terms of gender equality in the workforce, mm -hmm. it's going to take 99.5 years. What? Yeah, to catch up. So it's a long way off. Um, Some miracle can just happen, like the one in the mm -hmm. Bible where... You know, so, the lepers. Mm. Was that remember the story when he says, "Oh, uh, by, by this tomorrow. time tomorrow." <laughs> yeah. Mm. What do you think? Wow, what a prayer! Uh, yeah, <laughs> miracle could happen. That would be awesome. But I mean, the reality is, the world is huge. The world is diverse. A lot of countries are ahead. So many more countries are behind. Mm -hmm. So it's going to take a while for everybody to catch up. Because if you think about it, 132 circa odd million mm. children not in school, girls as in girl children yeah. not in school. You know, we're still talking about 33,000 child brides daily. Mm -hmm. I mean, the statistics against the girl child is huge. Mm. So when you add that into the mix, you can sort of see how, you know, I know that I, I, mindset has become my thing, but, you know, there's a complete re-engineer. So like you were saying about the man on radio mm -hmm. today, men largely, well, again, it, some men. Some men, yeah. You know, still have a very, very, very archaic mindset towards women. And you're going to have to fight that. And that's not, those types of men, you're not going to change their minds. They're going to sadly have to die off. And then we're going to hope that the generations that are coming behind them are better. But, I mean, even the men of my generation, how many of them can I truly say are better? Mm. You know, you would expect it to be more, but I, I don't believe that it is. Yeah, well, Uti, you said something about child brides, and it just hit my head um, um, that I should point this out. A lot of times people feel like when you're a child bride, which is a sad situation, I believe, from my perspective and from world Every view generally. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's not one of the best experiences to go through, but even in the midst of that, the midst of that limitation, you can nurse a dream of, something being something better like being a child right should not limit you right so no but this, these are things we're fighting for such that okay you should be this you should be liberated you shouldn't get married at 13 but even if that happens to you what then happens what then happens what can, how, how can you make let me take a call how do you make how do you pick up your life exactly uh, okay i'll answer you um <laughs> richard from lagos thank you for joining us let's hear what you have to say Yes, yeah, good evening, guys, good and evening happy evening. International Women's Day. Thank, Thank you. Um, for over for close to two decades that I've been in the workspace, I've discovered that um, it is a lot, it's a lot fun, uh, fun working with with women because if you if you are what you thought, you won't feel threatened by a woman. Mm. What am I trying to say? The best bosses I've had, we are female. The best colleagues I've had are female. The best subordinates I've had, we are female. Now, one thing about working in a multinational is that they give you a level playing ground. Hmm. But when you work in an organization run by a Nigerian, one more business. you will see this patriarchal thing come to play. Hmm. But let me tell you something. I see all, in other crimes, I see women do a lot of things. And when I see someone like maybe um, um, Ngozi Okonjo-Wena come to that level and everybody in Nigeria is praising her. I was like, why can't you guys create more opportunities for these ladies? Hmm. Imagine if a woman was a governor of Lagos State. Oof. Do you know how Lagos State would be? 
or if a woman was the president of this country. Check out this. Uh, what's her name? The late lady, the laptop lady. Sorry, I can't remember her name. Dora, Dora yes. Kunyele. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Imagine you know, in what Dora did in NAVDAC, nobody has been able to beat that record. Mm -hmm. true. Sorry that the woman there now, but the standard Dora put there, the man that came after her was like he was not existing. So he left, and the woman there now, she's trying her best to understand. But we have, I don't want it that we just keep picking one woman here, yeah, one woman here, yeah, one woman here, yeah, you understand, know, picking them. But we have a whole lot of them, a sea, a sea load of them. That can be exposed. Check out your program now that you guys are running on TV. You guys don't know the information you guys turn out every day. For me, Waze is a must watch every evening. Wow. Thank My you. team is actually trying to go now. But I prefer to watch this program now than watch wow. my team. I just check to know this wow. cause and Thank keep watching you your so program. Thank you so much. <laughs> if you guys do the best, I love your program. Thank, Thank you. you. So Thank much. you so much, Richard. Wow. We're honored. And he's consistent. <laughs> he calls in almost yeah. every time we open the phone lines. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. You know, so when he was even talking, right, mm -hmm. what got me thinking is, do you know that there are much more powerful women than the women that we know? Mm -hmm. All them or Conjoyuela. A lot of them are a working lot on the of ground. Them are silent mm -hmm. movers and shakers, mm -hmm. doing great things. If only, right? We just say, you know what? Push them, give them a nudge. Because even us as women, we've also conditioned our mind. That's why I said, limiting Limited, mindset yes. is on both sides. It's not just the men, you know. The women ourselves. If ever they thought about some, is now maybe I'm open to okay being appointed as commissioner for uh, information or minister mm -hmm. for information or education, which are the two places I'm passionate about. Before, if you had told me, I would say no, 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 I'm not open to all those things. Let me just face what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Now I am open to it because I'm consciously telling myself that I need to change certain things in educational structure. I need to change certain things, you know, in terms of information because I know how powerful the mind is. If only that mind is exposed to the right information. Right, the mind can do limitless, as in the mind, the mind has limitless possibilities. That's Just true. give that mind the right food and see it blossom. Exactly. That's so my when power. you talk about the mind, remember you were going to answer uh, the, for what the woman, yeah, about for the young girl, yes. Bride, yes. I was going to say that you know, yes, I I hear you, that that girl, right, mm -hmm. she can still make something out of her life because there's no, as long as there's life, there's always hope. Right. But the challenge is with those kind of situations, right. How many of those men are willing to say, you know what, I know I met you as a small girl. I know I whatever, but I want to empower you. None. Really. So the that is where, is that? In, therein no. lies the challenge, Sanzi. Because I was watching a, sorry, Uti, yeah. I was watching a video today on Instagram, and a young girl, she's 16, Uti. Mm -hmm. They said she's, she had three children already at 16, and wow. she was pregnant with the fourth wow. child. So the benefactor found out she was pregnant. Apparently she was cheating on him, found out she was pregnant and he was beating her up and trying to whatever. Just imagine that girl at 16, Sansi. Four children, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I, I mean, I cannot lose hope that something can come out of her life, but it must take deliberate effort of those around her you know, to be able to take her out of that. But, but how many exactly. times are they willing well, to do that those happens. things? Because again, let's think I, about the environment or the ecosystem of a person like that. When you are a child bride, that means the people that you are around, the family that you have gone into, they endorse it. Mm -hmm. So whatever dreams you have, I love the video that was put out um, uh, as, as a conversation starter about mm -hmm. International Women's Day today. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was poetry. And she said it in there. She says, child bride with dreams, you watch your dreams float away like balloons because you're living a life in a bubble where nothing, you, no matter what you dream, how are you going to actualize it? Are you going to run away? Look at Leah Shaibu now. Listen, I, uh, well, perhaps I'm not seeing things from reality. I don't think the dreams are rushing up in a bubble. Yes, it is harder. It is like 5,000% harder. Sandy. But if people like Malala can step up, right? So this is somebody um, that is like a hero for girls who are, you know, coming from that side of the world. Mm. I think if Malala, everything around her was, you know, we all know her story. Yeah, but Malala, so Malala is one. Mm -hmm. that, and, and, and even that example that you use now even buttresses the point we're making. If in that entire nation, there is only one girl that could stand up and fight and almost die, 
in the entire populace well, of young girls. She even had to be taken away from that environment. It takes, exactly. it takes one <laughs> so, match. It takes one lit so, matchstick but, to light up but every she other has person. To, but then the country, there's a Malala. Mm -hmm. But it's not that the, everything in the country has changed and everything has improved or everything has stopped. Listen, I'm just encouraging so, the Malala in Nigeria, somewhere in the north, that listen, being a child bride is not, not a, It's not only in the north, it's, it's everywhere now. It's not just now. in the north, well, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not the worst thing that can mm -hmm. happen to you. You can rise from that. Absolutely. I'm telling you, all you need to do is nurse that dream right inside of yourself that, listen, I may have six children and by 70 I'm pregnant with the, with the seventh or thereabout. It's fine. No, it's not fine. But that is your given situation. I acknowledge it. But still, you see that dream inside of you? Nurse it. Mm. Don't let go of it. All right, so Nurse let's take it. more comments. Let's take some comments. Um, okay. I would say my career has been good, but I constantly check myself if I am deserving of a higher role or qualified enough. The fear of I'm not sure I'm good enough is always there. That's for Mariam from Abuja. This was yeah, what you said. Exactly. It's you know, the reality. That's the imposter, yeah, imposter syndrome. syndrome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uti, I went through it. <coughs> so, well. um, so I have a comment from Benson and it says, technically, a woman is the most recent and updated version creation on the planet. Hmm. If only a woman can understand the inbuilt potential, most of what they cry out for, they can resolve. It's more of decision and action. I don't know that I agree. Um, inbuilt potential, yes. Um, Decision, yes. Whether we are able to then resolve everything because if the world is not playing your game, yes, you can be a game changer. But if it was simply based on active decision, we won't be talking about gender parity. We won't be talking about the pay gap. I mean, so I don't think that is that black and white. Correct. Yeah, okay, so you know what I think? I feel like women, like, a lot of women are like Instagram. We're looking for likes and validation. So when you get in a lot of likes, then that validates you to tell you, okay, I can do this. Let me go forward and mm. do this. But anyway, that's here quite, is a message. That's quite uh, <laughs> true. <laughs> here, I mean, that, that, that used to happen to me. I used to wait for people to tell me, you can do this, you can do that, mm -hmm. up until... See, I'm grateful for growth. Mm. You, you have to wake up, and I, yes. I must admit, you have to wake up yes. and understand your strength. We've had him as a guest on this show. Um, shout out to Ezekiel Sholisi, and he is a man. Mm -hmm. But somebody has to get you to the point where you realize that, you know what, I got this. Exactly. The day you wake up as a woman, look Everything in the mirror changes. and say, listen, I got this. Like, your you know life, your worth. Your life will change. I'll Everything. Tell you. Nobody will be able to <laughs> yank your chain. Exactly. You'll just be like, who are you? <laughs> you get so let's it. take your comment. I'll All tell right. you what the three things I place a premium on. Okay, so this is a message from Tola from K2. Um, as a woman, I think limitations is more in the mind than physical. Women, let us focus on our minds. Mm -hmm. Okay, right, so thank you. let me take another comment from um, then Uti. We take a comment. A comment from Rafael Akori. He's always joined us also from Hi, Rafael. Z yeah from Zaria. <laughs> so the men have failed the entire world, but brave women are now taking up the challenge by giving um, nation um, direction. Mm -hmm. And that's true, you know. Uh, yeah. So I have another one from um, Angela, and it says, private sector has helped women more. We need more from the public sector, and we need more women supporting qualified women, not always questioning every woman that steps forward to take up top leadership roles. All right, so I always say that the three things that I place a premium on are three. My mind, my mirror, and my life. Mm -hmm. So anything that distorts it, why I chose the mirror is, you know, the truth is, if you are looking, I mean, I loved NASA's, um, NASA's post on International yeah, Women's yeah. Day when she says something about the noise, mm -hmm. you know, forget the noise and yeah. listen to Focus your voice. To Focus on your voice. You know, what and I do... And that's the process. Yes. Because it takes you have a process to because silence the noise You first. have to silence it. So yeah. what I have done over the years, and it took a lot of growth process to get mm -hmm. there. And I think more women should do that. Right? Focus. I mean, that thing you said about Instagram likes is very true. Focus on who you are seeing in front of you when you look at yourself in the mirror. Mm -hmm. Right? So that way, I tell myself the blatant truth. Yep. Uwa, you have goofed in this one. Oh, you're doing an amazing job. Because when we start to look at ourselves and we're able to speak truth to ourselves, then we have started living. 
I have the freedom to do a lot of things now. I mean, I have a blessed husband. He's good. You know, but he knows I have my scoin scoin. You know, and all of that. <laughs> you know, oh, Mr. B. <laughs> you know, he knows I have all of those things. But you see, that thing you talked about, child bride. If I was married to a very patriarchal, you know, that kind of, you know, masculine, chauvinistic, that kind of human being, I would not be where I am. I would be subdued. I would not be. Able, I would not be blossoming. Somebody, mm -hmm. a friend of mine, saw me yesterday. He said, "Why are you always glowing?" I said, "It's internal, because that freedom that I express now." I didn't grow, it didn't, it didn't come, over. it came with a lot of process. I mean, myself and my husband, we have deep conversations that many couples don't have. We're able to tell ourselves the truth. I mean, so that's why even in marriage, I love what Uti said about this feminism and all of that. If I have chosen that I want to be under a man, give me that freedom. Yep. Don't make it look like being under a man I made the wrong decision. makes you subservient. Mm. No, that is your freedom. That is your truth. So when I look at myself in the mirror, I'm able to sell, tell myself the truth. And anything that distorts my life, I do not you know, stress myself over it. And my mind for me, and that's why I surround myself with beautiful and intelligent women. You know? Thank you. <laughs> because the, the battles are won and, and lost from the space of the mind. Right. Mm -hmm. So just imagine if we begin to, and that's why I'm very passionate about, about education. If we begin to educate people right, so you are able to see yourself beyond that one bedroom, face me, I face you, that you are in today. Yeah. What do you think will happen to you tomorrow? Nobody can tell you it is impo it's impossible. Exactly. Or nobody will tell you oh, to go you on Instagram and question. become a prostitute. So about this child bride, if you're able to see nobody. yourself, hold on, if you're able to see yourself beyond where you're having seven children, I get it. Oh, I may not get it 100%, but to a certain extent, I'm an empath. I can understand to, to an extent what it's like for them. You are them, taking out the most important nurturing, factor, Sansi. You're nurturing, you're, no, you most, have a dream, you're nurturing it. It may not be fulfilled in your lifetime but you, because you have that dream you're raising children i with know a different but the mindset. most important factor in that mm. right that liberty of mind is the environment thank you if you have not placed me in the right environment there's no how an enabling and environment you just say, don't let your environment no, limit you don't you. get my point i <laughs> you just said it don't let your environment the, limit listen you. when your mind is mm -hmm. right listen to what i said when your mind is in the right place your environment stops that, that limitation, you don't see it anymore. But it takes you It doesn't first. change the reality. It doesn't change your reality, but yeah, it, it. your mind tells you that, yes, I might be here, but I can rise above here. But that is because your mind is already transformed. Listen, a lot of people, their minds tell them, I can rise above here, but they refuse to pursue that thought. It's like a train of thought happens and you choose to follow no. the trail. There's no. nobody that oh, hits I'm, that. Mm -mm. There's nobody oh, that hits there are, that listen, light bulb. I can bulb. tell you. Oh, that light bulb there moment are who, that does not move. There are people who hit it and they refuse to because they are, uh, they're fear. Oh, what? Fear Let's can cripple the you. Fear can, so. There are people who hit that light bulb and they're so afraid they stay stagnant there. That's why they don't fulfill destiny. Yes. Okay. Uti. So we have said plenty, 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 plenty things. <laughs> Um, and, you know, the circumstances will differ mm, for every single true. person. And, yes, there are people who um, are afraid. Are afraid. Genuinely, I, yes. I, in my life, had to confront fear. Mm -hmm. And I'm not even there yet. I'm not even 100% there yet. But I made a decision at the beginning of 2020 to say, you know what, Auntie, you can't keep saying I'm not a risk taker. You are going to have to take some risks in life. And I tell you, one of the best decisions I made in my life was to do that because with that quote that says you have nothing to fear but fear itself is so true. Mm -hmm. When you look fear in the face, it looks so different than what you thought it was in your mind. Mm -hmm. But we've said so much today um, about the, the, the woman, the girl child, and I just I wrap it up with the future for women because mm -hmm. we didn't get to talk about yes, mental right. quickly. Right. Um, and I, I just want to take the opportunity to call on every single woman out there that it doesn't matter how inexperienced you think you are mm -hmm. because women never feel like they're enough, they're adequate, they're there. It doesn't matter how inexperienced you think you are. You have something that you can pay forward. Mm. You have someone's life that you can touch. There are things that I have said to people that I had not realized the gravity of those few words until the impact. the impact and they came back. And, you know, I remember one day bumping into someone who I had read his posts on LinkedIn. And the day I saw him, I said, oh, you're so-and-so. And the child almost fainted. And I thought, ah, is it me? 
<laughs> like it's because I know your name here, you know. So we really have the opportunity to make an impact. Mm. So at, at the back of our minds, the forefront, and for me, it's, it's always at the front of my mind where every young person I meet, every person I meet, I want to be impactful in their lives. Mm, right. I want to leave something that says you will always remember me you will remember the conversations that we had mm -hmm. and how you know it changed something about you whether it's your mindset whether it caused you to take action and yeah like i said no matter how tiny it is you are able to impact lives um, and as women i think that should be one of our highest callings absolutely right. i think better way the best way to wrap it up mm -hmm. i'm telling you all right so i mean today we just thought to you know share our thoughts, you know, as we move towards 2023, we believe mm -hmm. so much in the power of how much impact every woman can make in the, in the space, in the leadership space. So give us a chance to govern you. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. So Waze was birthed from the need. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sazi. Waze was birthed from the need to inspire, inform, and influence lives towards action. And this year, we started our CSR focused on curbing unemployment in Nigeria. So if you are a company, please partner with us by allocating internship slots. And if you're a job seeker, keep watching Waze and follow us all on all our social media handles, as this will be an all-year-round engagement. Now, in case you missed today's quote, here it is again. Can we all say it? Women are like tea bags. They don't realize how strong they are until they are in hot water. That's Elena Roosevelt. We'll see you live tomorrow as we bring you another great conversation. Enjoy.